We know you people love the Golden Knights, but this hockey team gets love all across the animal kingdom. Dogs love the Golden Knights. Cats love the Golden Knights. Pigs love the Golden Knights. But perhaps their biggest fans are these two chickens. Why'd the chicken cross the road? Why? To cheer on the Golden Knights. Why? She already answered why. Pay attention. And what better way to start this epic tale than a good old why did the chicken cross the road joke? <laughs> yourself. Everyone meet Aspen and Brooke. Aspen, introduce us to your chickens. Uh, well, this one's golden here. And this one's my knight. Golden and Knight are Americana chickens. Aspen says the girls are very well behaved most of the time. Don't you dare peck my hand. I no. Like any good big sister, Aspen looks after and loves her little sisters. She even sings to them. Good morning, good morning, good morning, our girls. Shortly after they were born, Aspen and Brooke noticed something about the chickens. When the humans sat down to watch a Golden Knights game, the birds watched too, eyes glued to the TV. We didn't realize how much they loved hockey um, until they got completely crazy when they were still in their playpen in our living room and we would be watching the games and they would start to waddle back and forth and go crazy and then we would let them out and they would sit and watch the entire game. Hockey loving hens. Who knew? Aspen and her chickens also have the same favorite player. William Carlson. William Carlson. Yes. The family also loves them some Mark Stone. We used to have a hamster named Stone. Yeah, about that. You can't interview him, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> like any self-respecting Knights fan, the chickens rock some sweet game day duds too with a line of custom-made dresses handmade by Grandma. They looked really good in their dresses. <laughs> they do. They look fantastic in their dresses. If they wanted that dress, they'd say, okay, keep that dress, keep that dress. That helps them win. But then if they lose in that dress, then you'd go to a different dress. You are a mess, Miss Girly. This is where our fun story about Golden Knight loving chickens takes a serious turn. Aspen and Brooke both fell in love with the team on the night of October 10th, 2017, nine days after the horrific shooting. In front of a devastated city, the brand new Vegas Golden Knights honored local first responders at their first ever home game. My mom and my real dad were police officers on October 1st, and we got invited to the inaugural game. And my dad got to walk out onto the ice and I just started really loving how they supported my mom and my dad. She got woken up uh, in the middle of the night when we got the call yeah, and we had to go. Um, so we had to load them up and uh, take off. We had to drop them off of grandma's and off we went. Um, so they didn't see us for almost four days straight. Aspen's dad was one of the officers who bravely rushed into the Mandalay Bay that night. He had to barricade yeah, the bad guy's door and then make yeah. entry. Nine nights later, 18,000 people packed inside T-Mobile Arena. All the emotions were felt that night. Sadness, anger, resolve, and love. Love for each other and this new hockey team. For us, it gave just an immediate something to look forward to every, every two to three days, right? And the season had just begun. So we had every couple of days, we had something just to completely take our minds off of everything that we had been through, everything that we were going to go through, everything that we had to respond to, all of those kind of things. Come on, Golden Four years later, that love for the Golden Knights is stronger than ever. The whole family gathers around the TV to watch every game. Four humans and two chickens. Go Knights, go! Go Knights, go! Go, you're not cheering. <laughs> go, oh, not chicken. chicken! You what? I hold when I do it. You hold up a chicken, that's true. <laughs> oh my God. So special thanks to so Hannah good. here at Fox 5 who edited that piece for us. Uh, the entire family will gather around the TV again tomorrow night, four humans and two chickens, when the Knights play Nashville.